Hello and welcome to Ryzen Tech. Today, we'll talk about, difference between AMD and Intel motherboards. If this is your first time watching my video, make sure you subscribe now and enable notifications. Difference between AMD and Intel motherboards The main difference between AMD and Intel motherboards is that they only support the same type of processor. As a result, an AMD motherboard will only work with an AMD processor, and an Intel motherboard will only work with an Intel processor, and not the other way around. A motherboard is an important part of any computer. It is a printed circuit board PCB, that houses all of the system's critical components, including but not limited to the CPU and memory. Other peripheral devices, including as the DVD player, USB drives, sound cards, video cards, network cards, and so on, are also connected to the motherboard. It also provides electrical paths for the components connected to it to communicate. Intel and AMD are only two of the several firms that manufacture and sell motherboards. The primary distinction between AMD and Intel motherboards is that they only support the same type of processor. As a result, an AMD motherboard will only work with an AMD processor, and an Intel motherboard will only work with an Intel processor, and not vice versa. Several vendors also make motherboards that work with one of the processors. However, no motherboards are currently available that are compatible with both processors. This is due to the fact that each CPU requires a unique socket type. LGA1156 and LGA1366 sockets are used by Intel motherboards, while AM2 and AM3 sockets are used by AMD motherboards. However, the fact that an AMD motherboard would only work with an AMD processor, and likewise for Intel, the sales and market share of Intel and AMD motherboards directly correspond to the sales and market share of Intel and AMD processors. AMD is the only significant rival to Intel in the central processor, CPU, market, especially for the x86-based personal computer. Together, Intel and AMD hold 99.1% market share of the CPUs sold for Q3-2011. In this, Intel had an 80.3% share while, AMD amounted to 18.8%. AMD and Intel are always battling with one another. They are continuously looking for the next best thing and trying to keep one step ahead of each other. As a result, their products are always closely related, with tiny modifications that each manufacturer believes will improve their product. AMD and Intel are always battling with one another. They are continuously looking for the next best thing and trying to keep one step ahead of each other. As a result, their products are always closely related, with tiny modifications that each manufacturer believes will improve their product. As a result, aside from processor compatibility, the two motherboards are nearly identical. They share components such as memory, hard disks, graphics cards, and so on since these components have been more or less standardized and hence occupy the same slots. The number of slots and RAM that the motherboard can support are mostly determined by the make and type of the motherboard. Of course, this has an impact on pricing. As a result, a motherboard with more SATA ports and or more RAM compatibility will be more expensive. Yet, in general, AMD is significantly less expensive than Intel. Most people believe that Intel outperforms AMD, albeit by a little margin. As a result, Intel is thought to be more expensive. As a result, AMD has been identified with a low-cost option, whereas Intel has become synonymous with a high-performance one. Yet, many people prefer AMD to Intel since the AMD and Intel CPUs and circuit boards provide nearly equivalent functionality, but the AMD version is significantly cheaper. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Please subscribe to my channel and enable notifications now. Thank you.